playoffs. I've always wanted to get one of these, but you know it's not over yet. It uh, you know it will celebrate tonight, but we're back to work on Monday. Big game on Wednesday. I'm super excited. I mean, I made a joke with the guys. I said this is the farthest I've been in playoffs was Parma, and I didn't even play a game yet. So um, it's just the atmosphere was awesome tonight, and I think we we obviously made history for Ignatius, and I don't think we're done yet. You guys set the tone tonight with your half court defense. I thought even Coach Ross Tom mentioned deflections with your guys' size, what your guards were doing, really set the tone and made a difference. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I mean, I watched a lot of film with these guys, and I thought the one thing that stood out to me when they struggled, they struggled with pressure. And obviously, you got two really good guards in Billings and Wilson, and I thought we need to just keep pressure, and they don't have a deep bench. And I knew those guys can come out and just kind of get into their legs, get some deflections, just have a body on them as long as they, you see those guys made tough shot after tough shot after tough shot. But I thought we wore them down the stretch a little bit. And, um, but that was huge. We wanted to pressure them all game a little bit. First thing I said when we watched film on Thursday after we found out we were playing Lorraine is I said, this team is battle tested. And they've won districts for four straight years. They're not going to be afraid of the moment. They're going to come in here expecting to win. Not wanting, they're expecting to win. They've been here. And I knew that it's going to take a really good effort for four quarters to beat a team like that. And obviously Coach has had a great career. This is his last go around, so I knew they were going to be playing hard for him. And he's done a, he's done an amazing job for that program at Lorraine. They went to the state semifinal a couple years ago, and he's had a lot of players come through there that are playing college basketball right now. The atmosphere, I mean, we've never had this many people at a game, so that definitely you know, pump the boys up. Our intensity, we play intense defense. You know, we don't we don't take plays off. We're, we're full goal all the time. That's credit to our guards, great ball pressure, our bigs. They can't uh, they can't get down low. And the all week work on digging on drives, and that's what really shut down the lanes and like forced them to shoot all game. So, yeah, I mean, Lorraine's a great team. You know, uh, we knew they weren't going to give up at any point. Even when we came in and at, at, at all half up nine, coach said they're not going to back down. They're going to come out with even more fire. So, you know, playing a scrappy team like that, it, it really prepares you to keep going in the playoffs. Yeah. Coach always says that great teams puts teams away when they're ahead. Um, so I think we're still getting closer to that, um, but I think we're also getting better at it. Um, and the best thing is that is playing good right now is what uh, really means a lot. So I think if we keep doing what we're doing, playing defense like we did, especially in the first quarter, and if we can build that over a four-quarter game, I think we'll be hard to beat. You can look across the board. I don't know too many defenses around the state of Ohio that is better than us. I mean, we've held St. V to their lowest point total. We held Luther and East to uh, 63 points on the road. We held Medina to 60 points. Brest to 60. I mean, our defense has been who we are all year. So I didn't have any doubt about the defense end. I just wanted to, how many buckets can we get on the other end? Because we struggled at times offensively. And I thought that was that was great for us to get a lead and get some confidence early. Guys get to see the ball go through the net. But we're going to lean on our defense. We got size. We got athleticism. And we always preach active hands, active hands. And uh, we did that tonight.